All right, next up, we're going to do a beer label, whiskey label guitar of Tennessee distilleries and brew houses. We let these bottles soak overnight in some warm water and a couple drops of soap. Some of these labels came off real nice. Some of them took uh, a lot longer and then some of them ripped. So I use a razor blade here and just help sort of peel out, peel all the back off. And once you get it started, it usually peels pretty well. The Blackstone Brewery labels peeled off really nice. And this one actually ripped. I couldn't get this one off. I don't remember what brewery this was. And then the Yazoo labels actually came off pretty well. This is some special brews that they had. And the Amber Ale I just let soak longer and then eventually they peeled off. Same thing with the Jack Daniels label, but this time I used the razor blade. I could feel it tearing, so I used the razor blade and just essentially pushed it off. Then we're going to get some wax paper and lay these out on some wax paper. Let them dry, make sure they're nice and flat. Had some wood chips here and there, which caused some issues. The backs picked up some of those, but flatten these out, make sure that they sit nice. Let these dry overnight. They'll come back with some wallpaper glue and take a little wallpaper glue on the back of each label. I put the backs of the bottles on the back of the guitar and then the front of the labels on the front of the guitar. We'll start in the back. Just wanted to see how this went. So that's why I didn't start with the front first. I figure if the labels were going to get ruined, I'd rather have the backs of the labels ruined versus the front. And they're sitting pretty good, so just go through and, and take the backs and just glue them on. Didn't have to press them down or use weights or anything. They sat pretty nicely. And then we'll go to the front. This is a Yazoo Gerst Amber Ale. One of my favorites down here. And then I've got some Blackstone Brewery labels as well. These came off really nice. Didn't really even use, need to use the razor blade. And they've got some really tasty beers as well. That strawberry and their Honey Nut Brown was really good. And we'll just start placing the labels all over the place here. I thought I was going to curve these over the edge, and that didn't work out, so I'll let them just sit. And this was my camo guitar that I had done, one of the first videos, once I moved into the house. And sanded that off and just started putting this on. So then I take my razor blade and I cut the labels around the pickup holes. That way, before I spray, I've got nice clean channels. That triple smoke whiskey on the right there is really good stuff. And my favorite label was the IPA Session uh, Session Players label from Blackstone. It's got the skyline of Nashville and a guitar pick, so we put that as the center. Really neat looking label. So here's the back, and then here's the front before I go ahead and spray it. So on the sides, I wanted to clean up any of the glue and any of the labels that were just sitting out. And so I've got some 400 grit, cut it, sand it, make sure everything's nice and flat. I've got no ripples. That way the edges are clean. And I get a wet paper towel and just make sure I've got any glue off the body. It's getting pretty, getting prepped to spray here. And then we're going to go with a two-part poly here. This is an automotive finish, real real caustic stuff. I'm not going to spray uh, and film this ever. It's going to stick to my lens. But we'll put a first coat on the back and on the front. And we'll go ahead and sand that off, get it nice and even. And then we'll come back and feather the sides and the edges with this custom shop blackjack pearl paint and so I've just got my standard gun we'll take this blackjack pearl and we'll go ahead and burst it I guess feather it whatever and we'll just do a nice line around and then we'll go back and clean it up so get that first layer down 
go back and forth, make sure it's all sitting in the right spots. Love this custom stop shop stuff. It's ready to spray. It's real easy to use. So once the front and back are done, we'll let it dry. It's looking pretty good. And then we'll go ahead and hit it with a clear, same clear on the top. And this guitar looks outstanding. So that's the back. There's the front. We'll assemble this and put a clip up later. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next vid.